So be here. He's already gone to the loft. Good. We had words. He said. He's been worried about you. Where... where have you been? One of the girls on my course had a party. I stayed at hers. Thought I'd make a night of it. Sounds like fun. Yeah, it was. Obi wasn't happy when he left earlier. I don't know what's been going on between you two. But... I'll smooth it with him when I see him. I'm gonna go and have a shower. Right. Then we can talk about your night. There really isn't anything to talk about. Sean and I were... I've had a couple of drinks before I caught you, but I know what I saw and I know what's going on. You and Sean are having an affair, aren't you? The crazy... It's all wrong. So, I didn't see you and Sean putting your clothes back on. You're wrong about us having an affair. We've only done it once. You walked in on the first and the last time. Really? I wish it hadn't have happened, but... I mean, you wish I hadn't caught you. <sighs> Max means so much to me. If he finds out about if this... If he meant that much to you, you wouldn't have gone anywhere near Sean in the first place. I was lonely, Mel. Max has been away for ages. You and Obi don't want to know me. I had a meeting with Sean. We had some champagne. It just happened. It just happened? We all do stupid things when we've had a drink. You look like you knew exactly what you were doing. If I could go back and do things differently, I would. I shouldn't have had anything to drink. I wouldn't have been taken in by Sean. He did all the running. I told him I was with someone. Max means the world to me. I don't want to lose him because I've done something stupid. Please, Mel, you've got to believe me. Please don't say anything to Max. If you do, I'll lose everything. So it really was the first time it happened? And I'll never be going anywhere near him again. As far as I'm concerned, Sean Kennedy does not exist anymore. Why should I believe you? Because I made a mistake. A stupid, drunken mistake. Maybe we should forget all about this. I won't tell Max. I won't tell anyone. Oh, thank you, Mel. You've got no idea how much this means to me. Why did you have to go... Hi. Is that a six or an eight? Um, Hello, Claire. Hi. We'll talk about this later. Okay. Busy day? Well, not particularly. You'll be able to take some time out then. Thought we could uh, pick up where we left off. Well, that's a nice idea. But I didn't think you'd be up for it after what happened last time. What gave you that impression? Well, you were pretty panicked when Mel burst through the door. Things are sorted now. Are they? Mel's not going to say anything. We're in the clear. Are we? What about your boyfriend? What about him? Cheers. Are you sure Mel's not going to say anything? I'm positive. We talked it over, and I explained what was going on. And what is going on? Whatever you want to be. Don't worry about Mel. When I left, she was going to have a shower and a lie down. She was out all night. She'll be out of it all day. No one's going to disturb us. Think I'll give it a miss. What? You know my type. You can see yourself out. I'm not going anywhere. Fair enough. But I'm still not interested. You're not interested. I've been with girls like you for as long as I can remember. Good for a one-off, but not much else. I like women who are a bit more of a challenge. Like Louise, you mean? Hmm. She wouldn't have come in here and handed it to me on a plate. She'd have made me work for it. Well, such a shame she doesn't want to know you. I think I know Louise a bit better than you do. Then you'll know how she'll react when I tell her about this. How you came on to me, how you wouldn't leave me alone until I gave in. You're not going to tell her. You're not going to tell anyone. Because you've got far too much to lose if any of this comes out. Max will kick you out for his sacks you and tells you he never wants to see you again. You're not going to say anything. Mel's not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. It'll be like it never happened. You're going to regret this. I don't think I am. You're supposed to be Louise's mate. What were you thinking? What are you looking at? You lied to me. What? You said nothing was going on. Have you been drinking? 
So what if I have? It's nothing compared to what you've been getting up to. I really haven't got time for this now, Mel. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you in a visa with Sean. Are you even bothering to lie to me? I am not having an affair with Sean Kennedy. So why were you with him again today? We were talking, that's all. I mean, how stupid do you think I am? Do you think I was really taken in by you this morning? Had you had all of this before you saw us together? I hadn't had anything. Are you sure? But you're not going to talk your way out of this again, Claire. I'm telling Max and OB everything. Are you? Really? Yes, I am. And what do you think's going to happen when you tell them? You're not going to stop me. There's a danger in telling people your version of the truth, Mel. I mean, do you think they'll actually believe a desperate drunk like you? Tell Max about me and Sean. We'll both deny it. And where does that leave you? I'll tell Max about what state you've been getting yourself into. And there's only one person that's lied before about what has and hasn't happened. Here's a clue for you. It's not me. I don't understand. If you say anything, you're going to make yourself look stupid. You're going to turn everyone against you, and then where will you be? I'd make them realise I was telling the truth. How? I don't know. I... What do you think Max is going to say when he finds out what you've been saying about me? I don't think he's going to be very happy, do you? I've done nothing wrong! You're the one... I'll throw you out of here so fast, you won't know what's happened till you wake up in the gutter. But then you're used to that, aren't you? And what about OB? He's going to be devastated when he finds out you've been lying to him all along. I haven't lied. You've got a reputation now, Mel. Everyone knows what you're like. You'll lie and cheat your way through anything to get your hands on a drink. This is all you're really interested in, isn't it? It doesn't have to be like this. You help me, and I'll help you. But OB is going to be back soon. And look at the state of you. He isn't going to listen to anything you've got to say about me. He's had enough of you as it is. If you tell anyone what you saw, no one is going to want to know you. You'll be finished round here. But, if you don't, if you keep quiet, things can stay exactly as they are. You keep my secret, and I'll keep yours. It's your decision, Mel. What's it gonna be?